Captain! Gris, we've got them. Get the men to their posts. Aye, aye, Captain. Sails up. I, I can't take you to Larbert, Chris. If we go past the rocks, we may well cut them off. Hard to Larbert, man. <laughs> the sea won't have us today, boys. Make the devil himself, coward men. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Let's set sail for San Juan. Yes, Aye, sir. Hoist the sails. Aye, As you faster, you louts. Right away, Sails sir. away now. Give her all you've got. Aye, 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 aye captain. captain.
I don't like this, Chris. This Tirado asshole isn't going to play us straight. I'm telling you, something's off about this whole deal. Why have you killed one of his own people? It doesn't make sense. Calm down, Marcus. You know I don't trust anyone. But there's no way I'm gonna let this slime bag slip away without paying me. All right, but this is bad business. Maybe I'm just getting too old for this bullshit. Could be I need a break. Back in St. Lucia, it's just me and my distillery. Same routine, day in, day out. You know, it's been a long time since you visited home, Chris. And what would I do there? Keep you company while you watch the barrels mature? <laughs> you liked St. Lucia well enough when you were a boy. Speaking of rum, you remember Captain Franz Peterson? He came by recently for his uh, supplies. He's been asking for you. Says he has a problem he could use your help with. Dutchmen drink like fools. But Franz is a reliable man. Not like that Spanish dog, Tiaro. We're close. Keep your blade ready. I see you brought one of your colleagues. So, how was your trip? I'm not complaining. Mm. And how is Shutalut? How is our friend? Busy exploring the bottom of the sea. Mm. You know, I tend to steer clear of places like this. Pirates, murders, whores, depravity and filth everywhere you look. Everything that's wrong with this city all gathered in one place. I kept my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. On the other hand, if you can rely on anyone in this city, it's you people. Greed makes you predictable, it makes you malleable. For the promise of money, you animals would gut your own mothers, wouldn't you? <laughs> Luck for you, I don't share your high Spanish morals. If I did, I wouldn't have been able to kill your fellow officer for you, would I? Now give me my money. Indeed. You know, another benefit of dealing with your kind is that you're so easily used, then tossed away. Christopher Raven, you stand accused of murdering an officer of the Spanish Navy. The penalty for your crime is death. <laughs> You're gonna regret this, Torado. Kill him! Die! Die. You son of a bitch! You <clears throat> call that sword fighting? There's more of them coming. Hold the door. I'll take care of them. Got it. What are you doing? Come on. Amateur. Die. You're fucked! Oh, for the love of... Yeah, Go fuck yourself, sir! I'll kill all of you! Go to hell! Take that! Bloody bastard!
so I, um, and you know, he, and he said... They're behind the door, Chris. We're going to have to split up and meet at the harbor. Go upstairs and try to find a way out. I think I saw a balcony up there. And what about you? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Besides, they're not after me. Aren't you lucky? See you on the other side. Forget Toronto. his head. What's this? Whoa! 
What's in here? Wife yourself, Kurt. Drive yourself, Kurtz! That went well, huh? I guess we should avoid San Juan for a while. Agreed. Might be a good time to visit home after all, eh? At least until you decide to murder another officer of the Navy. Hey. What, what's going on, eh? You sent a bitch he's trying to steal my ship, eh? That's what's going on? Nope. You're... you're not? No, everything's good here. Lay back down, get some sleep. Oh. Thanks. Hmm. Marcus. Set sail for St. Lucia. I found something interesting during the fight. Oh, found something? And here I thought we were fighting for our lives. It looked like you were busy trying to save your own neck. My neck. I seem to remember saving yours a few times back there. <laughs> when I was wrestling with one of those bastards, he's caught ripped loose. It's a note. Says hmm. they're looking for a man named Lancaster. Lancaster? The weapons dealer? I don't know another one. Hmm. Man's got his fingers in every pie in the Caribbean. But if this is true, he's staying in Bridgetown now. 
Seems that's where our friend Tirado is going to look for him. Bridgetown, eh? If you're looking to get even, confront him there. Better there than in the Spaniards' own backyard. Less messy that way. I've got business in Barbados. A large group of my people. I don't know about you, but I'm part first. Pirates and whores, money and blood, smells like home. Listen, I said sorry. I didn't mean to spill it on your shoes. Sure I understand, you little fuck. Let me show you how much I understand. This will help yourself. I see a place to sit. Come on. So you were saying? Hmm. Nothing beats F. I know that look. I'm thinking. Yeah. But borrowing from a damn moneylender? Believe me. <laughs> There's still a few score will wish Captain Captain Raven. It's me. Of course, Mr. Donovan. You remember Mark. Of course I do. So, how could be better, Captain? Could be better. Regretting your decision to stick with them? I I am. No one forced you to join him, Donovan. It's a captain's right and privilege to do as he pleases, as long as he's filling your bellies and your pockets. Really? You'd piss all over your own men and call that your right? So why don't you do something about him, then? Oh, we tried, sir. We did. There was a lad. Wh Reminds me of how things... Yeah, that was a damn... P you are thinking about it. By the rules of the coast, Blade versus... But taking him out will not make the... Ha! Huh. There's nary a soul on board, the serpent, that hasn't wished for the good captain to... You bet I am. Sprotten luck. So, Chris, what do you think? I'm not too keen on being in anyone seeking a blade in Sorry to interrupt, but I've got to be getting back before Terrell notices I'm gone. Likewise. Captain Raven, sir, if I may, I hope you decide to challenge Terrell. Fair enough, Donovan. If you see a cold beer salt. Yeah. What's bothering you? So where do I find... Well, 
Donovan mentioned. Yeah, but your guess is as good as mine. What do you think about all this? It's a bad scene. I'll be on my way. <laughs> Captain Raven, Captain Raven. Slow down, Frankie. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, to sort. Yes, sir. La Reina. And uh, you did good, Frank. Thank you, Cap. Back to work. Anything you need, yo? Don't bet on it. Just show me what you- With pleasure, sir. Friend, got some coin to spend? Why not see what I have in stock? Hammerhead Harry. Aye. I have a problem. There ain't a problem in life that a goodly amount of coin. It's a pretty sizable problem. So I'm after a... Ha! That... So what can you do about it, Harry? Harry? Do I know you? Or would Mr. Hammerhead sound more to your liking? It would. That's a pretty sizable problem you have there. Look, Harry. Ordinarily, I'd be happy to have a man like yourself in my debt. Bloody hell. Brother. All right, Harry. Enough of this sh- What do I want? What do you need then, Dem? Me? I don't- No problem. What's that? <sighs> Anything else? Mm. Uh, see, we money- Right. For example, there's- Let me get- uh, You take him out- That's the long and so. I'm ready. He's usually around the north side of sea. You want just keep your hands rock. Nobody tells me what fair enough. What's your problem? Barracuda pays me. Ah. You're a smart one, ain't you? You're a right. I'll kill all of you. 
You can do better than that. Take that. You're not good enough to kill me. A nice figurehead for you. Could think of a few better spots for. Have a look. Quality goods for cheap. Come on over and see for yourself. A nice fig. Could think of a few. Have a look. You'll find only the best wares here. See for yourself. The prices are right, so what are you waiting for? Come look at what I've got. Get moving, you cutlass rats! Get moving or I'll make you! Aye, aye, sir. I want to see you working. Yes, sir. What the devil do you want? William Terrell, I challenge you for the captaincy of this vessel. You challenge me? You dare challenge me? I'm Captain Christopher Raven. You think you have rights? Donovan, is this worthy piece of... Beg your pardon, sir. No can do. Is a proper challenge by the rules of the coast. We can't interfere. You little shit. Once I'm done with this horse. Weak. All right, lads. As per the rules of the coast, the ship goes to the victor. So good. Reese, I heard the news. Surprise. <laughs> No. Soon, be prepared. I'm all yes, we need to go. Why? A group of... All right, good.
God be with you. The prices are right, so what are you waiting for? A nice fit. Could think of a have a I've got what you need if you've got the coin to spend. Got in stock. You need your boat repair? More or less. Not to worry, I can. But too late. Everything you need here and only here. Come and have a look. Sir, here hardly magnificent sense. Anything you need. Don't bet. With pleasure. Guaranteed quality, best craftsmanship in the Antilles. How do you do? How are you? How do you do? Friendliness is not to godliness. Today. Good day to you. Good to see you. How do you do? 
Hey, Georgie. Long time no see. Do I know you? I'm the man who's going to kill you in a few seconds if I don't get what I want. What? Hang on. You one of Harry's boys? I don't care what you said. Either you die now, or give me what's left of the money you owe him. Hold on, hold on. I can. I don't have much on me. Don't kill me. All right, make me an off. I have money, just not here on me. I... And what's stopping me from... Ah, uh, but you see, I planted a barrel of powder near... I see. It's a simple ma... Run. Hugh, how are you? How do you do? Good day. Good day. Good to see you. How do you do? Oh, what a smell. Good day, Hugh. But again, <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> Ship spotted, sir. She looks abandoned. Ready your weapons. We're going on board. And go find me, Marcus. Aye, aye, sir. Let's see. Captain Peterson.
like you've seen the devil himself. I have. Tell the men to dump the dead overboard. Weigh them down. Make it decent. All the cargo's been looted. We have no business here. But I got back some of these. My own bottles. At least he had a good drink before he died. Fate always seems fit to take the best among us. Peterson was a good man. Now this Tirano bastard... To so hell with Tirano! Did you see? See what? That sword. Your man Peterson was killed the same way my father was. The bastards to kill my family. They're back. Ah! Chris, this cannot be. You know the Devastines died when the earthquake hit, along with half of Port Royal. Neville and his men have been shot for for years. What's wrong with you, man? You saw my father's body when you carried it from that bloody beach, did you? You saw what they did to him? We... we buried him together! God damn it! You still have that accursed thing with you. <sighs> Christopher, the Tynes are dead. Any fool with a blade can kill a man. You of all men should understand. Those bastards took everything from me. My family deserves vengeance. And all this time, I thought it was lost to me. And you want to cast it off as a coincidence? You think it's some random fool carving men up with a blade? The way he did? Are you serious? Christopher, the men who murdered your family are gone. If you don't stop this, you'll end up chasing whispers of pirates across the Caribbean, like that madman Santorio. You're absolutely right, Marcus. If anyone knows anything about this, it'd be Santorio. Are you mad, Christopher? He's a pirate hunter. He kills people like you for a living. For pleasure. And what better man to help me track a pirate? But how do we find him? Not this time, Chris. This fire will burn you, just as it burned your father. Maria. She'll know how to find Santorio. What can that little hooker know, other than pleasuring the men of Bridgetown in that filthy den of hers? I'll need supplies. On ahead. Let's meet up after you've had a chance to talk to- Where can I find you? I'll wait for you outside the brothel. You still remember where- I'm tired, not dumb. Big building with the tall round tower on the east side of town. See you then. How do you do? Fine, how do you? 
Well, come in, come in. Don't stand at the damn door. Are you Lancaster? Who else would be standing? I'm already inside. Well, anyone can see that. I... what? Say, you don't have the least bit of Spanish in you, do you? <laughs> We're going to get along just... Listen, can I come in and talk business? Or do I have to shout from here while your guards crowd me the whole time? Well, I'll admit, I'm a bit confused. You said yourself you are already inside. You're an odd one. But sure. Stand down a bit, boys. No need to lean on the man. There you go. I'm here because I found a piece of paper with your name on it. Well, now, I suppose that practically makes us kin, don't it? No, no. Don't bother telling me your name. Just tell me about those papers right away. My name is Christopher Raven. This paper was dropped in a brawl with a group of Spanish soldiers led by a man named Torado. I came here to ask you if you... Now this I'd like to hear more about. Tell me, did you manage to kill any of those Spanish pigs with that steel hat? The fight went my way, or I wouldn't be standing here. You're right hard case, aren't you? No reason to- You sure? He's in the Royal Spanish Navy. Anyone who needs someone- Listen, I'm- I'm not- I know- It's not healthy to trifle- <laughs> Who's trifling? I'm offering you a bit of honest work. Do it- All right. Excellent. Humble- Ah. I knew- Sounds like- My proposition- Torado. Perhaps- We have a deal. Fa See. Fine, thank you. How are you? Are you fine or stupid? How are you today? day to you. Oh, was your mother blind too? Oh, what a Good wreck. to see you. Oh, I almost forgot. Was your mother blind too? Oh no! Oh shit! Raven! What are you doing in Bridgetown? Listen! Oh, I, I... Time? Of course. Shh. Eat this! What's that gonna do? Shall we trade? Nice sort and captain. Oh, sorry, sir. Just you. <laughs> you're looking for. Yes, all. I've got plenty of. What, really? Be here forever. Oh, my. Almost. 
Want some rum, Captain? Nothing. You wouldn't know good beer if you drowned it. Best see you don't get drowned. What? Well, look in first of the morrow, we were in shame. I can't believe Jesse's dead. <laughs> what happened? Damnedest thing. You know that big distillery over by the old harbor? Well, he worked there. He fell into a huge vat of rum. Tell me something. We mostly produce rum. Tell me. They say the water around Kumana is red. You know the jet. Tell me something. You know the jet. Tell me. They say. Right. 